isang mapagpalang umaga po sa inyo mga kapatid ko kay Kristo. Ako po si Marilyn Amundis na iska lamang po magpatutuo sa kabutihan ng Panginoon sa binigay niya sa akin sa kabila ng mga pagsubok. Ako po ay naaksidente during our youth camp sa iba sa Bales. Naislide po ang aking kaliwang paa sa tulay ng lake at nagungo po sa kahoy ang aking kaliwang tungod. Namaga po ito at nahirapan po ako maglakay. Hanggang sa ako po ay makapagpa-X-ray sa biyaya ng Diyos sa tulong ni Ate Haik Ubalde. Salamat po Ate Haik sa inyong napaka-generous na heart. At ayon po sa resort ng aking X-ray, wala naman daw po nakita fracture sa aking kaliwang tubod. Yun nga lang po, makalipas ang ilang araw, napapansin po tumikirot pa rin po siya. At hirap po ako matulog sa gabi, lalo na malamig pa ang panahon. At ayun nga po hanggang sa ako'y makauwi ng probinsya ng January, dalawang beses ko po itong pinahilot doon sa pagbaba kasakali ako ay gagaling. Ngunit mas lalo lamang kong namaga ang aking kaliwang tubod. At ayun nga po na bahala ang aking pamilya. Kung kaya't pagkabalik ko dito ng Maynila noong February 4, agad kong pinatingnan ang aking kaliwang paa sa orthopedic doctor. At ayon sa aking doctor, sabi niya, kailangan ko pong mag-undergo ng MRI para malaman kung meron po akong problema sa ligaments. At kung sakali daw po, dalawang cases po daw ang aking pagdadaan kung sakali lang po after ng MRI result ko. Kapag mild injury lang daw po ay baka makuha lang po sa therapy or kaya kung hindi naman daw po mapag may problema po talaga ay mag-aandog ako ng surgery. Yun nga po sa sobrang takot ko, panay po ang panalangin ko sa Panginoon na huwag naman po sana na mangyari iyon. Nawa po, uh, patuloy akong pagalingin ng Panginoon. Patuloy akong humihingi nung ng panalangin sa inyo. At salamat sa inyong walang sawang panalangin sa akin, my LGI family, my Winwatch family. Salamat po sa inyo, Pastor Amina, na parang palumang, Pastor Chris, Pastor Esther. Thank you po sa inyong lahat at napaka-generous ng mga tao na aking mga sister in Christ. Salamat po sa inyo. At ayun nga po, sa biyaya ng Panginoon, ako po ay nakalapit po sa City Hall ng Taguig para po matugunan ang pangailangan sa MRI. At awa po ng Diyos, tinugun po ng Diyos ang ating panalangin. Nakadulog po ako doon sa City Hall at nagigyan po ako ng referral para sa MRI ko at nare-refer po ako doon sa RMC. At yun nga po, dapat ako po ay makapag MRI noong April 16 kaso po nabiglang nag-lockdown at ang dami pong mga documents na kailangan ko ipasa pabalik-balik po ako, sobrang hirap kahit masakit sa paglalakad tiniis-tiis ko pong makompleto ang lahat ng documents para lang po sa akin yung paray at ayun nga po, naghimala po si Lord at yun na nakompleto ko po yung mga documents na kailangan nila at yun nga po, bigla naman po nag-lockdown, kaya mas lalo matagalan po ang aking MRI. Akala ko hindi na ako makapag-MRI at bigla po akong nakahingi ng, ng panibagong schedule. At noong July 1 po ako nakapagpa-MRI po. At ayun nga po, pinagkaloob ng Panginoon ako ay makapag-MRI ng mga time na iyon. At pinoprovide ni Lord ang aking pang-taxi. At salamat sa mga nagbigay. Thank you po talaga. Pastor Amina, thank you po talaga sa inyong tulong. Kay, kay uh, Dehay Kubaldi, salamat po sa inyo. Salamat po sa mga taong ginamit ni Lord para po matustusan ang aking financial na uh, assistance para sa aking MRI. At ayun nga po, nakapag-MRI na po ako noong July 1 at nakuha po agad ang result ng mga isang araw po at salamat sa Panginoon pero protektahan niya po, niya po ako sa sa laban sa COVID na ito nakaawi po ako ng safety and sa sa bahay salamat po talagang napakabuti ng Panginoon talagang walang panalangin na hindi tutubunin ang Panginoon lalo pag ikaw ay naging tapat sa Kanya and salamat po GI family and Binwatch family at patuloy na lang po ako ngayon na humihingi pa rin ng panalangin na makahanap ng orthopedic doctor na available na magbabasa ng aking uh, MRI result para kung ano naman ang next step na gagawin ko. Kiniklaim ko pa rin po ang kagalingan at alam ko naman po hindi ako pababayaan ng Panginoon. 
Praise God po, lubos po ako nagpapasalamat sa ating buhay na Diyos. Sapagkat kaninang umaga po, tinubo ni Lord ang aking panalangin. At tinawagan ako ni Pastora Chris Navarro. Through her po, uh, God provide my physical therapist. At mismo taga physical therapist na po yung tumawag sa akin upang ako ay masuri. Maraming salamat po kay Brother Jordan Ramos na siyang nagsuri sa akin. Siya po ay taga LGI din. Maraming maraming salamat po Brother Jordan. At yun nga po, sinuri niya po ako, pinalakad niya ako, pinaupo niya po ako. At base sa kanyang observasyon, sabi niya po sa akin, ay makakalakad pa naman daw po ako ng normal at hindi naman ganun kalala. Yun nga lang po, kailangan ko na po ng dubling ingat dahil base daw po sa aking MRI result, ay may punit na po yung aking ligament. God is good pa rin. Grabe ang protection ni Lord sa akin. Kaya lubos ako nagpapasalamat sa inyong mga panalangin. Salamat sa lahat. Pastora Chris Navarro, Pastora Mimi, Pastora Esther, at sa ating pinakamamahal na Pastora Mina Navarro Palomo. Maraming maraming salamat, lalo na po sa mga LGI staff at prayer warriors. Thank you po. God bless you. My name is Kenechuku Chimboze Ezechuku Kuya Ken. I am a wind watcher. Here is my testimony. I joined Windwatch on July 2015. My church team ministries international was the venue for Windwatch at that time. I joined Windwatch for two things, two reasons only. I was hungry for the Lord. I wanted to be part of the music team in Windwatch because I wanted to improve my craft. I wanted to learn from Kuya Jethro, Ate, Ate Cookie, Kuya Charles. I wanted to learn from all of them. Even Mam Gaj also. But I got more, more than what I wanted. It's not really the kind of typical testimony, but it's, uh, it's really big in my life and I give glory to God about it. Now, yeah, my thoughts on Windwatch. Windwatch was like none other. I felt the love of God and the power of God at the same time. Through greetings, the praise and worship session, and the message. No one was esteemed very high except Jesus, but everyone was honored. It took me a while to realize that Pastor Mina was the founder. I thought it was um, either uh, Pastor Bernie, uh, maybe also Pastor Chris, maybe uh, Ate Cookie. I didn't really. I was really shocked when I first um, found out that it was actually Pastor Mina because she's kind of very. She was. Re she wasn't really uh, showing herself too much, but she was just there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, I actually thought that um, I was. I actually thought that Ate Kuki and the rest were. Some of the rest were in charge, but. Um, uh, it was really amazing to know that it was um, Pastor Mina that was the founder, and G that you know you could see our humility. Uh, I give glory to God for that. One moment I will not forget was when Pastor Chris spoke in my native dialect by the power of the Holy Spirit. She said, "Lord." What you're doing is good. In my native language, she said, Ieneme Odima. I was really shocked about this. I didn't really know because I was on the instrument. My brother to told me when I was when we were just discussing in the house, she was like, Didn't you hear what um, Pastor Chris said today? She spoke in Igbo today. And I was like, wow, that was powerful and awesome. 
Every moment on the beatbox and keyboard was a time of gratitude. I thank God that He could use me, an ordinary me, to play the instrument. I didn't really think that um, I could I could really play. I really wanted to play. It was really obvious. Uh, my everything. I was just, I was just I just wanted to be you know to to play, you know, to play for God. And I really thank God that uh, you know, everybody allowed me to. Why was attending Wind Watch very important to me? There were times when I truly drifted away. Wind Watch was a place God always got my attention. Either through the messages I received from um, Atelani that I should come and play the keyboard or play the beatbox, or the Holy Spirit will just quicken me to just go. You know, I experienced a lot of emotional trauma, a lot of um, things that you know I couldn't discuss. I was really a kind of secretive person, even though I was jovial. Most times I, I come to Windwatch and it's more like I don't know what to do, I don't know what to I was very confused and a lot of things were going on but it's just whenever I, I go, I enter, I come into the presence of God, it's just like, you know, it's not like I'll forget the, the problems but I receive all this strength to, to go face it. My time in the Philippines is finally over. I have completed my degree and it's time to join my family and my people. It's difficult to live knowing I have a family here. I thank God for this ministry and what this ministry represents. I thank God for Mama Mina, Pastor Mina, and my other mama, Pastor Esther. I thank God for the Windwatch Tagalog, the Windwatch Makati, even though I haven't been there before. I thank God for the Windwatch Quezon City. I thank God for the LGI Board of Trustees and staffs and Windwatchers around the Philippines and anywhere in the world. God bless you. May God continue to expand and prosper this ministry. And I believe God will use this ministry as a platform for revival in the Philippines and in Asia and also worldwide. God bless you, Windwatch. God bless you, LGI. See you again when I see you. This song is in honor of the Lord for what he has done in the lives of our brother Ken and sister Marilyn. You can sing with me. When I think about the Lord, how he saved me, how he raised me, how he filled me with the Holy Ghost. How we heal me to the uttermost When I think about the Lord How He picked me up and turned me around Now we set the feet on solid ground When I think about the Lord How He saved me, how He raised me how He filled me with the Holy Ghost How He healed me to the uttermost When I think about the Lord How He picked me up and turned me around Now He set my feet on solid 
ground makes me wanna shout hallelujah thank you jesus lord you're worthy for the glory and all the honor and all the praise it makes me wanna shout hallelujah thank you jesus lord you're worthy all the glory and all the honor and all the praise when i think about the lord how he saved me how he raised me how he filled me with the holy ghost how he healed me to the uttermost when i think about the lord how he picked me up and turned me around now he set my feet on solid ground it makes me want to shout hallelujah thank you jesus lord you're worthy all the glory and all the honor and all the praise makes me want to shout hallelujah thank you jesus lord you're worthy all the glory and all the honor and all the praise Jesus, Lord, you're worthy for all the glory, and all the honor, and all the praise. Makes me wanna shout, Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus, Lord, you're worthy for all the glory, and all the honor, and all the praise. Makes me wanna shout, Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus, Lord, you're worthy. All the glory, and all the honor, and all the praise. Makes me wanna shout. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. יברכך אדוני וישמרך, יאר אדוני פניו אליך ויחונקה, יישא אדוני פניו אליך וישם לך שלום. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.